Welcome back. Now let's go into World 7-2 before Mario freezes up. And just ahead of time, I am a little bit worried. I see that one ice blockade next to World 7-3, so I'm kind of worried that it's going to have a, a secret exit to it as well. That'll destroy the ice blockade. By the way, um, I don't... Hey, uh, Yoshi! I don't remember seeing you here before. Hmm. How can you survive in this cold? You really like the cold this much? Huh. You've readapted. Before you really liked the heat. But now, you really like the cold. Although, I am willing to bet I cannot take you out of the level if you were this late. A keyhole. Hmm. Let's go ahead and double check this... Hmm. Double check for a possible key. Hmm. Well, at least I've solved half of the problem. Now, just check any of these blocks. See if any of these are key blocks. I kind of doubt it. Probably not going to be that evil. Hmm. Maybe this one right here. Nope. Not that. Swallow. Satisfy your hunger, Yoshi. Once again. Nothing inside there. And now I'm kind of worried that the key is in the sky. Although I probably shouldn't be that worried because... Well, I'm able to fly. There goes Yoshi. Just exploding. Well. Guess he can only handle the cold for a limited time. Nope, World 7-3 is a yellow level, happily. Some secret exits can be evil now, can't they? Well, here... The World 1-1 secret. With an additional invisible coin block, incidentally. But most importantly... A key hidden right there. You cannot be serious. Hmm. I didn't even think to look there. I didn't even think to look in the secret area for the secret key. Hmm. Well, at least I can get down here. And... Whew, we're free. This takes us to 7-4. Uh, as it looks like. Yep, 7-4. But right now, let's go into 7-3 and see what we have here. 7-4, as I can recap, is going to be a Switch Palace area. Hmm. Well, here, I guess I just need to survive the cold and make it out of this level. Nothing else. Well, except maybe collect a few extra coins, a few extra points, a few frivolous points, a few frivolous coins, a few frivolous one-ups. Hmm. Two levels in a row with Yoshi. All the way in World 7, for some reason. Wow. Yoshi really, really likes the cold, I bet. Hmm. Well. Hmm. You can have your cold, Yoshi. In fact, you can catch one if you want. I don't really care. Just don't spread it to me. Hmm. Might be a part of the reason that Mario's wearing gloves. Especially here. Okay. So we got a fire flower in there, no surprise. Eh, I can't keep Yoshi anyway, so... And Yoshi disappears. Even when you're not riding on him. Hmm. Well, another bonus game. So after collecting a 4-up from the bonus game, let's go into World 7-4. Hmm. And it seems to have stopped snowing. I also notice a clock on one of those structures. Hmm. Maybe a bit more industrial here. I don't know. Judging by the background, it could be something. Could be some type of futuristic city. I don't know. Could be anything. Well... What's going to be up there? I don't know. Well, got to remember, this level is going to be a Switch Palace level. So, hmm. 
Might want to check up here for something. Maybe if the coins indicate anything, but they probably don't. They're probably just there to fool me. Run! Okay, this... Okay, nothing up there, so... It's probably going to be nothing up here, period. That blue piranha plant, it just spit fireballs at me three times. <sighs> and it learned to inhale at one point. Hmm. Inhale properly. Huh, the music is slowing down again. I don't know why it does that. I'm so used to the, I mean, the video game itself slowing down while the music stays the same. But not the music slowing down while the gameplay remains the same. Hmm. Gotta be something up there, I can bet. Hmm. If I can even fly there. Eh, probably nothing. Nothing I can reach, at least. Down here. And maybe up there. We'll have to see. Up here? Okay. Key in a keyhole. This takes us where? Okay, to seven six. Seven five, sorry. <laughs> okay, here. To get to the Blue Switch Palace, the Koopa Shell is your friend. Voila. Now let's go up here. So I guess this is going to be the only level with three possible ways to end it. Hmm. One involving either the Switch Palace or the normal exit, the other involving the secret exit. Your progress will also be saved. I don't know what happened there. Whatever. Yeah. Like I said, normal exit, so it'll take us to the ghost house. But now for the real normal exit. And now we are back here. Let's go this way. What are we going to have? Hmm. Looks pretty empty inside here. And that might not be such a good idea, because there's a chance that this could collapse. Unless all the maintenance needs to be done on the outside, in which case that's okay. Hmm. Well. At least we're out, and now let's go into the ghost house. Hmm. It's probably gonna be a maze. Whoa! <laughs> Didn't realize I was trapped there. A giant eerie. And something up here. An easy shortcut to the exit? I don't know. Well, it does look like quite the shortcut. Let's go back this way too. Let's just regular jump right into the ghost. So many times. Eh, and let's just lose a life. But I want to see what's inside this block. It is just a fire flower. No use around here. Except for maybe a second extra hit. Exclamation mark! I guess it indicates the fakes. Or maybe the real ones. Let's try this again with our cape. Okay. Hmm. Still a little bit confused here. Hmm. Well, at least that one was not right above a pitfall, so that's okay. Safe here. Safe here and here too. Inside this, a fire flower. Hmm. Now, up here there's something. Probably another shortcut thanks to the blue switch. Pro probably. Yeah. This time it requires a pipe though, so. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and pick up the feather. And let's go up now. I. I really hope I can go up. Why am I wasting all these hits? Just why? I'm better than that. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I only think that I am. 
invisible coin blocks. Uh, this had to come eventually, didn't it? Ooh. What a block. I'm kind of glad it came. Hmm. A number of holes here. Okay, and... Invisible coin block there? Nope. No more invisible coin blocks? Okay. Well, back out. Back into the scary part. And... Becoming scary myself. Now let's wait before we jump. Uh, sacrificing a power-up along the way, but... At least surviving. Where am I right now? Okay, that's just a horizontal one. Jump. What's the big idea? <laughs> okay. It looks like this one bridge thing right here goes upwards. It does. Let's wait for it to go back down, and good. Hmm. Big Boo, come down here so I can jump over. Thank you. Hmm. Eeries, I don't have to worry too much about you. Is there going to be something down here? Is there? Hmm. I hope not. Is this... Luckily, this doesn't fall, and neither do these. Are we near the end at all? Hmm. We'll have to see. Okay, spin jump. Good old ally. Hmm. I suspected that second one, the one up there, would go vertical. Up, and... Hmm. Well, I don't have a cape, so can't fly to the top. If there's a secret exit, I guess I'll need to fly to the top. I'll go ahead and double check that. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. So, yeah. Let's pause. Well, there's no secret exit to the very right, but there is something here. Huh. Do I have to follow the right spot so I don't land in the spikes? Or is it just going to be a coin bonus? Uh, that's a lot of coins right there. A lot of them. Hmm. How much longer am I going to fall? How much longer? What's the surprise going to be at the bottom? Wow, how long could I possibly fall here? Alright, I see a key. And I see a keyhole. And I can reach the keyhole. Okay, takes us down to the fortress. Yes, the fortress. But next time, World 7-5.